Hello, thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to like this one and also go and check out some more of my other videos. Today's DIY, we're going to need a Frisbee and some white spray paint of your choice. Six of these dowels that you can get at a Dollar Tree and then four popsicle sticks and one of these round um, pieces, wood pieces, that you can get at Walmart, six in a pack, or you can use some cardboard. You're going to find the center of the round circle and then start gluing your dowels to the circle um, only. You're not going to do anything to them yet um, to glue them onto the frisbee yet. And you can kind of eyeball it like I am and just find the center and start gluing your dowels to it and um, evenly spacing them out as best as possible. Or if you really want them exactly spaced out um, correctly, evenly, go ahead and measure them out. So what I'm using is just hot glue for this part um, and it worked perfectly fine. Now you can use another one of these round circles, uh, wood circles, or you can use what I'm doing is some of this drawer lining and going to draw out a circle and then glue that to the, what's going to be the back of my project. Now with this, the popsicle sticks, you don't need to do these arches. Um, I had thought about doing something different, but just measure out two inches from the top of the popsicle stick and then score it and cut them out. Now I used four because I kind of did, um, I wanted that round arch part from the popsicle stick on each one of these dowels. And right here what I'm doing is kind of e drawing on the side of each one of the dowels so I can know where to put my glue so I can glue them to the frisbee. And what I'm using is Gorilla Glue and hot glue for this part. And if you notice, one of these has, I drew out both sides of the dowel and that's so I can um, know exactly where they go. And you'll see right there, I put a dot on each one so I know where it ended, my lines, like that. And then I just glue it on. And that way I can know where exactly to put it at. Now with the uh, jute twine, I have made a hook because I don't have any more of my hanging hooks. So I just used one with the jute twine and then with an extra piece of popsicle stick, I glued that onto it just to give it more um, security. And then cut off anything excess that I had of the jute twine. Now on the dowels, I put hot glue and glued the backing to it the circle that we cut out of the lining, like so. And now what you're going to use are the popsicle sticks and we're going to flip this over and glue the popsicle sticks to the ends of the dowels that you see um, right there. Like so. And you just glue all of them around and then once you've glued all of these tops to the dowels or the popsicle sticks to the dowels, you're going to get some jute twine. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we're going to paint first. <laughs> Go ahead and get the color of your choice. I use the white, the ivory, I'm sorry, ivory paint from um, Waverly Chalk Paint and just painted the front and the back. And a trick of mine, if you want this to dry faster, since you're not really, I didn't use, um, a lot a lot of paint I basically did one coat and then a second if you wanted to but I only used one is I use my blow dryer on high heat and just blow dry it and it takes a few minutes maybe even less for it to dry completely so you do that to the front and back now you get your jute twine and using hot glue and I wrapped it around my popsicle stick and dowel from the basically from the top of the dowel all the way down to where the frisbee um, is at. And I wrapped it on all of them the same way from the top of the dowel to the bottom so it can cover the part of the, the popsicle stick so you won't see it. And there you have it. What do you guys think? So now 
for it to look a little bit older. Now you don't have to do this step. I used the same brush that I painted with, the white, painted some brown on there and then got a wet sponge or a wet cloth, whatever you have on hand, and wiped it down just to give it a little bit older look. I hope you guys enjoyed this first uh, this DIY. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and what color you would paint it. Until next Friday, you guys take care. God bless. Bye.